My name is Athena Williams, and I've been a resident of the Austin community for over 20 years. I am also the executive director of the Oak Park Regional Housing Center. I'm Tamika. I've lived and worked in the Austin community for over 40 years. I'm an aspiring business owner in the process of opening a new cafe called Mocha 24. We have a highly experienced team that is envisioning a design that celebrates Austin through art and architecture. The Laramie State Bank Building will be owned by a nonprofit. However, it will be managed by a community board of directors with the aim of reinvesting the profits back into our community. We're building a place in Austin for Austin. And I'm proud to introduce our team, the Austin United Alliance. Oak Park Regional Housing Center has been working in Austin for more than 15 years. This is an opportunity for us to bring affordable, mixed income housing into the community through this site. Heartland Housing has been invested in the Austin's neighborhood for nearly 25 years. Our May Suites building, located on Mayfield Avenue, has housed Austin residents since 1997. Our sister agencies at Heartland Alliance have also been invested in the Austin community for years. Most recently, Heartland Human Care Services purchased a building on Leamington in order to support Westside residents. When we looked at this site, we, along with our partners, saw an incredible opportunity to continue this work in Austin. It all began by asking what the neighborhood needed. We surveyed the many new initiatives along the Chicago Avenue corridor. A new grocery store will soon open on Chicago. This, along with the significant parking demand of such a use, turned our attention to the lack of financial services that could improve the quality of life in the neighborhood. The site included the Laramie State Bank, which has been on the list of Chicago's most endangered historic buildings for years. You have a bank, make it a bank again. But the challenge was how to increase density on the site while not diminishing the historic bank. We tested a number of options that placed a mass of a tall building along Chicago, but it made the bank feel small and leaves little open space along the street. Our proposed solution takes full advantage of the bright southern light and creates a large plaza for the community. We see a new future for the historic Laramie State Bank building, which would be fully restored to include a new bank branch a cafe, a blues museum that offers historic information about the community, a business incubator for local entrepreneurs. Oak Park Regional Housing Center will be the owner of the bank building, but we will create a board of directors that will be made up of Austin community members, which will manage and operate the building. This board of directors will recruit and select tenants for the bank building, as well as oversee the property management and the reinvestment profits that go back into the community. We thought it was important for the community to operate and benefit from the bank building, which is why we've created a legal structure which will allow the residential building and bank building to be owned by separate entities. With a 76 unit mixed income residential building, we expect to add significant density that will activate the site and bring additional vibrancy to the neighborhood. As we thought about what this mixed-use development might look like, we explored many scales and massing options. The restored Laramie Bank is a gem from the 1920s. It deserves to shine once again. In the distance at the opposing corner of La Trobe, we said, let's imagine a 2020s building identical in height and mass with the historic bank. The two volumes surround a large garden, which will be open to the community and take advantage of the bright south-facing sun. This is a garden of soul, a meeting place for music, art, food, and inspiration available to everyone. The windows in the housing are surrounded by a Pan-African color scheme from the Soul City Corridor. We envision the wall of the bank decorated with a gorgeous mural by a local artist. And along the street, we see movable gates filled with colorful art welcoming everyone into the courtyard. With the community room and the bank located on either side, this will be a bright and vibrant space for the community. At Bowl Construction, we are an African-American owned general contractor with extensive experience in building community-based projects around workforce inclusion. Our philosophy is to create opportunities for local minority and women-owned construction companies and 
non-construction businesses to participate in the development and construction of projects within their community. Through outreach sessions, we intend to engage the community of Austin in creating opportunity for inclusion in the construction of this exciting project at Laramie State Bank. Heartland Housing has been developing affordable housing in Chicago for over 30 years. During that time, we have built, renovated, and continue to manage 16 apartment buildings. We always proactively work with and listen to the communities that we are building in to make sure that we are responding to the needs of the community. At U53 in Hyde Park, we engaged in many meetings with the local community and heard their concerns. When one resident told us that he couldn't buy a pair of socks in his neighborhood, we changed the program on the ground floor and added a space large enough to accommodate an urban Target store to serve the 53rd Street corridor. This change really responded to a community need for retailing, which had not been answered in years. When we worked on Boombox, we created a retail pop-up space, which was used all over the city. One of our first retailers in this space opened up a cheesecake shop now just down the street from this site. Another has found success through this model and is now opening a grocery store on Chicago Avenue. This project showed us there's a demand for certain types of retail spaces and has provided a pipeline for business support systems that we now know can work. This project influenced our program for the Laramie State Bank and we see great value in providing supportive services to local entrepreneurs. We have put a lot of thought into the design of this site and how it could positively impact the community of Austin, but this is only the first step. Our design process is a collaborative partnership and we expect the community to be an active part of it. Together, we are shaping a future in Austin and for Austin. more excited about this project. By restoring the Laramie State Bank, we are helping businesses like mine thrive. Our neighborhood will be buzzing with programs and projects that will revitalize our community. And this bank building is for all of Austin. We will have a small incubator to bring new businesses in. We'll have banking partners to help with lending options. This is an exciting time and an exciting project. We look forward to your cafe, the Chicago Blues Museum, Let's do it. Let's do it for us, by us.